previously, you know, top three on the rank. I'm not sure if he's ranked right now or not. Um, I don't think he is because of the amount of inactivity he's had. But he did win the last stuff and such melee tournament for singles, and it was in grand finals that he fought uh, Stingers. And it, they had actually a very, very close set. It almost went to game five, and then Lazar was able to just kind of finish it out. Um, and we see them go to Battlefield game one. Uh, you obviously have a lot of matchup experience versus both of these players. Uh, where do you think uh, Lazar's biggest strength is, and where do you think his biggest weakness is? And how do you feel, you know, vice versa about Stingers? Lazar's greatest strength is that he goes in, but that's also his greatest weakness. <laughs> it's easy enough. Yeah, Stingers. Oh, that was so tricky. Uh, Lazar also very creative when he goes in. That's I think that's one of his biggest strengths. He's one of the, he's one of the most non-traditional creative players I've ever seen. Lazar has a great flow for the game. He doesn't really like study the game or like feel out a lot of stuff like that. He is like Stingers in that regard, um, but. The advantage, I mean, first of all, he like plays a better character, but then also, he because he, he plays a character that can just go fast. It kind of uh, it kind of plays into into like how you know Lawser just has like high energy and he wants to go in all the time. And if it, and if uh, Stingers is not able to like slow the pace down, which Stingers kind of likes to approach too, that's just going to just normally go towards Lawser's favor. Stingers uh, Stingers' advantage is, I mean, probably that like people don't usually know how to fight Peach very well. Especially if she plays more defensive, but Stingers is not really a defensive type of player usually. He'll play back a little bit, but he's usually wanting to go forward. Like you see all these dash attacks and like float cancels inward. He does like he just tried to do one there and he messed up on the platform. See he like move, he dashes away and then he floats in. And Lazar, Lazar is able to just eat this up. Now if Stingers were to float backward and just kind of stay backward for a little bit longer, Lazar is much more likely to give him an opening. And there's Battlefield Edge being a butthole. <laughs> Yeah, this matchup's interesting, and if you don't know what you're doing as Fox, you can easily get punished for 30, 40 damage off of a down smash. I think shield DI is a huge part of this matchup, um, especially when you're talking about multi-hit moves like Drill Shine and down smash from Peach, you know? Um, so shield DI is very important for both of these characters, especially at this level of play, where shield DI is just becoming like kind of a major impacting factor. A lot of people just below this kind of level don't really have a firm grasp on it. Um, but that's like what I've always thought about in terms of the Peach matchup is that once I improve my Shield DI, uh, I notice a significant improvement in the overall matchup. It's much easier to deal with kind of her pressure. Yeah, I think the Shield DI aspect is pretty interesting. It's pretty funny though because SDI matters so little for Fox in this matchup if you combo like Armada because it just invalidates it because you can't really SDI up air and like. Uh, and if you get nared off stage, you know, you're going to go pretty far regardless. And, you know, she might force you to come backwards. So it's... I, 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 def I definitely think uh, I definitely think Stingers um, isn't hitting it hard enough. And I think if he, if he were, the matchup would, the match would either be even or Stingers would have won it by now. The punishment difference is just pretty huge between them. Fox usually is, or at least supposed to, quote-unquote, supposed to win neutral more in this matchup. And then Peach is just supposed to hit harder on average. And so it, it's kind of, I mean, you know, Fox definitely beats Peach, but it's like kind of fair for that reason. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I, I think it's a pretty close matchup. It's obviously in Fox's favor, like you were saying, but it's never, when you have two players that are really close to each other in the same skill level, it's one of those things where Peach is good enough to where it's usually pretty interesting. And her trades are so good versus Fox. Like, there's not a lot of characters that can really trade with Peach the way that um, the space animals can. Yeah, I think, I think you know, even if their skill levels are somewhat similar, uh, I would say the I would say the uh, Lawser, he's still hitting harder on average. Like that stock that he lost, that wasn't a combo. That was kind of just he was put in a bad position, and just got hit over and over. That might as well have been a fox combo. And so it's uh, it's kind it's kind of interesting that uh, you know see how we have the uh, we have these knockdowns and we have these not necessarily uh, legitimate combos that Stingers probably isn't fully aware you can DI out of or just isn't reacting in time. And this is kind of what, you know, Lawser and Fox in general play off of a lot. And, oh, like I said, Stingers not very, <laughs> doesn't want to push back a whole lot. Lawser really liking when people can push back. He, people digging that Lawser stuff right there on the edge. Yeah. Lawser, I mean, he's good. He's, he, he, he's real creative on the edge. It's, it's a lot of fun to see. He, like, He's just got such a good flow, because like I said, he taught himself. In the, 
the in the position where Fox is on the edge, Peach usually wants to set up like a pair and Singer just kind of stood there. Peach just doesn't have really the mobility to deal with like Fox coming back on the level, but luckily Bowser can't edge finish. <laughs> <laughs> Fair situation. He'll just bill guard you. <laughs> I don't know what that. Oh my goodness, that killed it. Some Carndi eye on that one, I think. Uh, well, he was up in the air a little bit from the back air, but maybe. Nice. Yeah. Big shout outs to Karn. I was actually at a party with Karn the other day and I had to explain to him what Karn DI was. Uh, <laughs> anyway, back to the match. Back to the match. Uh, <laughs> uh, so we're seeing Lazar at a super high percentage and almost kills Stinger was another time with an up smash. I thought he was going to survive that back here. But yeah, you'll notice that he keeps trying to get these roll reads with his up smash and he doesn't actually have to do that. Fox is fast enough to react to like, oh my gosh. Ooh! Stinger's holding Skittles right there. That's funny. Uh, <laughs> You've never heard that expression. Yeah, that's so funny. Uh, but yeah, like, so the thing about what makes Fox really good in neutral is that he can just fake and he can be and he can abuse his speed from a. Oh my gosh! And so when, and so when he was doing the wave land around the shield. Stingers was expecting like another move, and then by the time he recognized that a move didn't come out, a move had actually come out. So he was very stuck in shield at that point, and he was playing off of Stingers' um, expectations and just kind of what he was and what Fox himself was doing. So Lawser is very good at taking advantage of certain properties of Fox. Like, oh my goodness, speed kills. Speed does indeed.